Joseph Marx had faced cancer once already. Then it returned a second time with a vengeance. The radical surgery it required left him in tremendous pain at the absolute lowest point of his life. Joseph Marx is a retired Navy man, husband and father. In 2013, he was diagnosed with esophageal cancer and successfully treated with chemo and radiation. But when the tumor returned two years later, surgery was the only option. This was devastating to me. It attacks your faith in, in a way that I never imagined. Now I'm gonna have to go through the surgery. This thing could kill me now. This time, this is a more advanced cancer. The tumor was removed, but when complications followed, the only recourse was to implant a stent in his esophagus to try to heal the damage. From the day I left the hospital, I had sharp pains, burning, spasms. If you know what a Charlie horse feels like in your leg, imagine that deep inside your chest, and they would go on for three to five minutes. These muscles are being expanded, they're tearing, and the nerves are um, damaged, and it was the most excruciating pain in my life. Joseph was bedridden and unable to eat. I can't even bring myself to feed myself. It's every two to three minutes I'm going into a spasm. And I'm like, there's nothing I can do. I have to gut this thing out. I will say that I've never been in despair in my life, but th this was probably the lowest point of my entire life. One morning, Joseph turned on the television and began watching The 700 Club. I'm desperate, and I need, I need someone to pray for me. I'm on my knees, I got my hands out, and I'm just like, Lord, please, hear my, hear my cry. And there's Pat, the he goes, there's somebody that has like tumors in the esophagus. You've got tumors in your esophagus. I don't know if you burned it or whether it's a fungus, but uh, they're, they're like tumors. When he said that, I started weeping. I said, there's my answer to my prayer. God, God is answering. Everything he's saying, I mean, he's just saying this really, it's just happening so quick. Right now, God, you'll feel like a, like a hot breath of air is just burning through uh, your esophagus and God is healing you right now. I felt warm all over my body, not just right in here, but I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit come upon me. And um, after he got, I was just weeping and weeping like I haven't wept, I think ever. But it was joy because it was, my, it was my, a moment of deliverance. And when he got done, the pain was gone. That was it. No more spasms. Joseph has been pain-free ever since. The stent was removed, and 10 months after surgery, there is no sign of cancer. He's returned to his active lifestyle with a grateful heart and a newfound peace. I see how God has, has done some things in my heart. And that's what I've, I've learned is that, that, that Hebrew word, that's shalom, that sense of being not just at, at being peace in your life, but it's a deepness of understanding of your well-being, where your standing is with the Lord. And I don't have cancer. I'm feeling better. I start seeing, I start seeing some future to my life again. I mean, how much more blessed can you be? Man, what a thrilling story. But God knew, I didn't know him, but God knew him, described him in detail, and then healed him. Terry, you got some others? I do. Pray. This is Alma, who lives in Spencer, Tennessee. She was experiencing neck pain for three weeks, couldn't turn her head to the left. One day while watching this program, Pat, you spoke a word of knowledge about someone with a neck problem who didn't know the cause. He said, you said, there's a woman with sharp pain in the back of the neck. Put your hand back there and receive healing. Well, all of a sudden she coughed. She heard her neck pop. She woke up that night and realized she was pain free and able to move her head to the left. She's praising God for that healing. Well, here's Elizabeth, who lived in the Bronx in New York, was suffering from severe pain in her gums. And then one day she was watching, and Terry, you had a word that somebody with a jaw problem was being healed. Elizabeth said, that's me. And the next thing you know, she was healed and she hadn't had any pain since. Folks, you know, God is so great. God is so great. And all he's asking us to do is believe him. Believe me. Would you believe me? You know, Abraham believed God, and God counted it for righteousness. We believe, will you believe me? So right now, I'm asking, will you believe God? Would you believe God? Terry and I are going to join hands. Father, I join with my dear sister. 
and we join together and ask for the power of God to come down into the lives of people who are watching this program. A, a, a muscle in your shoulder, I think, is, is cramping right now. God has just set that cramp free. You're, you're totally healed in Jesus' name. <clears throat> That there's a concussion. You, you put your hand on your forehead right at this moment, and th that concussion in whatever is hurt in, in your head and in your brain, uh, the swelling is going down, the, the healing is taking place in the name of Jesus. Terry. Now somebody else, you have a problem with your breathing. It's a deviated septum, but it's more than that. It, it's all your sinus cavity, the whole thing. God's healing that for you right now. Just take a God. deep breath in and exhale, and you've been set free from that. God Almighty, thank you, Lord. Someone else with a hearing issue in your right ear, it's just been like plugged up right now. Be set free in Jesus' name. You can hear clearly. Mary, you're vomiting. You have projectile vomiting. Uh, you're so sick, and you've just been crying right now. And say, oh, God, will you please touch me? God has heard your prayer, Mary, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. right now. Touch. Amen. Amen. Whew, wow. God's good. Uh, listen, if you need further prayer, well, pick up the phone. We're here all day long, 24 hours a day. Somebody's here. You can answer your phone and uh, pray for you. And uh, let us know what God's done. We'd love to hear these reports. It's a thrill for us when we hear the power of God. We want to extol the works of the Lord we serve.